Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm excited to dive into one of the most powerful mini PCs released this year, the B-Link SER9 Pro, featuring the brand new AMD Ryzen AI 9 HX370 processor, 64 gigabytes of blazing fast LPDDR5X RAM, and a huge two terabyte PCIe 4.0 SSD. If you're an AI developer, content creator, multitasker, or you just want a future-ready Windows Copilot Plus system that fits in the palm of your hand, you'll want to stick around. We'll be running benchmarks, including real-world large language model token rates, a must-see for anyone interested in local AI workloads. It is also a pretty good little machine if you are using it for some light gaming. If you are interested, stick around and let's get started. Let's kick things off with the unboxing experience. The B-Link SER9 Pro arrives in a clean, modern white cardboard box with minimal branding, just the model name, key features, and some basic specs on the back. The packaging feels premium and sturdy, setting the tone that you're about to open a high-end device. As I lift the lid, I'm greeted by a thank you card right on top, a small gesture, but it's a nice touch that makes the experience feel a bit more personal. Removing the card, the first thing you see is the PC itself, neatly wrapped in a protective plastic sleeve and held secure by a specially molded foam insert. The form factor is striking, super compact, all aluminum with either a frost silver or space gray matte finish, softly rounded corners, and a brushed metal B-Link logo right in the center. It really gives off a premium, almost Mac Mini-like vibe. Beneath the mini PC, there's a lower compartment housing the accessories, a solid, hefty 120 watt power adapter, a high quality HDMI cable so you can hook up your monitor right away, and of course the user manual, which is actually pretty thorough and includes warranty info and setup guides. First up, let's talk specs. The headline here is the AMD Ryzen AI 9 HX 370. This 12-core, 24-thread monster is built on the new Zen 5 architecture, maxing out at 5.1 GHz. Paired with that, you get the Radeon 890M integrated graphics, one of the fastest iGPUs as of 2025. You've got 64 GB of LPDDR5X RAM running at 7500 MHz, absolutely insane for a mini PC. Though keep in mind, it's soldered and not upgradable. Storage-wise, there's a super-fast 2TB PCIe Gen 4 SSD and a second 2-slot for expansion, so you can go up to 8TB if you like. All this in a gorgeous, all-aluminum chassis, 135mm thick. Ports include HDMI 2.1, DP 1.4, front and rear USB-A, USB 4 for Thunderbolt eGPU action, 2.5G Ethernet, and triple display output. Wireless is covered with Wi-Fi 6E and Bluetooth 5.2. So how does it perform for daily tasks? In short, it's a beast. Boot times, practically instant. Chrome with 30 plus tabs, no stutter at all. Video playback, full res image editing in Photoshop or Lightroom, everything just flies. However, it did not do very well in my DaVinci Resolve rendering test. The same video, four minute video that my desktop with a RTX 4090 render in 4K for less than 20 minutes, it took four plus hours to complete. At first, I thought it was the outdated AMD drivers, but the results were the same after I updated to the latest drivers. The same four minute video using the YouTube 1080p preset took a whopping four hours and four minutes to complete render in DaVinci Resolve. This is definitely not usable if you are looking to do video editing on this machine. Here's what really sets this machine apart the built-in AMD XDNA2 NPU, capable of up to 80 tops. That means it's fully ready for Windows Copilot Plus features, but also excels at local AI like running language models, stable diffusion, or anything you throw at it. But how do we actually measure real-world LLM performance? It comes down to tokens per second, a common metric in the AI world. I was not able to get this system to use the iGPU to do AI workloads as AMD has not released support for it. The only way to get the GPU to do the AI workload is to use a Linux OS. 
In addition, all the models that I use via Alalama does not support NPU at all, so the NPU processor is idle. Thus, all of the test is done using CPU only. Since the system comes with 64 gigabytes of memory, I was able to get it to run the smaller models such as DeepSeq 7B8B Q4 at 35 to 45 tokens per sec, Llama 2 13B Q4 at 25 to 32 tokens per sec, and the Merstral 7B8B Q4 at 45 to tokens per sec. This is a very usable speed as it will generate a response just as fast as you can read it. Skipping everything else in between, I jumped all the way to the DeepSeq 70 billion parameters model, which is around 43 gigabytes in size. It yielded a disappointing 1.37 tokens per sec. When I tried the Llama 3.3 model, which is also around 42 gigabytes in size, it yielded only 1.43 tokens per sec. This is extremely disappointing for me, as this rate is far too slow for regular usage. In addition, I was able to find some information online where someone got the GPU to work in a Linux system running the same models. The result token per sec is also similar to my CPU only result. So I guess this system is definitely not powerful enough to run large LLM models. As usual, I tested a bunch of games that I normally play and see how it stacks up to my daily driver a desktop with a 7950X AMD CPU, and an RTX 4090. I played all of these games on the highest graphics settings on my main desktop and tested them at medium preset for this VLink, as it simply cannot run the games at a decent frame rate on anything higher. Here's the results. As you can see, the system is able to run most of these games just fine at 1080p. You get a decent frame rate that is very playable. However, when you crank it up to 1440p, you start to see a lot more stuttering and quite a large dip in FPS. One game that particularly did not do very well is Expedition 33. This game seems to bring this system down to its knees. Even at 1080p, it was not able to run at a playable frame rate. So who's the B-Link SER9 Pro for? If you need ultra-compact power for coding, simulation, or research, the ability to run smaller local LLMs for AI prototyping, some light video editing, gaming, or multitasking workflows with massive memory needs, quiet operation, triple display output, and great connectivity, this might be the best deal in many PCs right now. The B-Link SER9 Pro is impressively quiet. Thanks to a vapor chamber and intelligent fan curves, it idles nearly silent. Even under stress of 4K video export, LLMs or gaming, we're talking 45 decibels or less at full load and only around 35 decibel idling. This is almost silent and I cannot hear it at all when it sits only about two feet away from me. As for power draw, it sips power at only seven to 12 watt and 88105 watt while under load. Thermals remain great too. CPU stays under 65 degrees Celsius, even while being fully stressed. However, do keep in mind that you will not be able to upgrade the RAM on this machine. Only the storage is expandable. There is a second slot of PCIe 4 for another NVMe up to eight terabyte. Otherwise, everything else, wireless networking ports is already best in class for this form factor. That wraps up my in-depth review of the B-Link SER9 Pro with AMD Ryzen AI9 HX370 with 64 gigabyte RAM and a two terabyte SSD. If you found this helpful, smash that like and subscribe button and hit the bell so you don't miss more deep dives like this. As usual, I will have the product linked below in the description. So head to the product page if you are curious. If you have any questions, just drop a comment below. I will respond as soon as I can get to them. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.